Nice. <laughs> What's happening guys? Walking down to the river today with Louie, he's bringing up the rear. Um, it's been raining heaps across Victoria, so I have no idea what we're actually going to find when we get down there. So the rivers have been low, so this might be a little bit dirty or off colour, stained but still lowish, I don't know. So we'll just see what, yeah, what eventuates today. Alrighty, alrighty. I wonder if there'll be one in this stuff. So essentially what Louie and I are doing here, we're just going one at a time up the river. I've got a single dry. Oh, refuse me. See that, Lou? Yeah. <laughs> um, going single dry, and then Louie's got an imp under dry. And then go behind. Dude, you might catch this guy. It was a bad drift. It was a really nice fish. Surely. It was a pretty violent refusal, so maybe he was like super freaked. They're the kind of cast you're gonna do, hey, like. Yeah, yeah. Super delicate and just like. Tap yeah, tap and that needs to be your first cast. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh! What happened there? <laughs> How cool was that? <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah, he was really nice. He was like 30. Did he eat it or he just spooked? Man, I reckon there'll be one in the tail somewhere here. I'm out. Should hear it land and just like race over and grab it. These slow pulls, you almost need to like try and animate your dry a bit, otherwise it, you go insane. It just like takes forever. If they don't eat my dry soon, I'm just gonna go nymph under two as well. They're there, they're pretty yeah. The, the nymph in particular, you can give it a draw and move it. So weird. Oh, nice, dude. See, that was in the. That he was in the main current in the far stuff, eh? It's a nice fish, man. Yeah. That's so good. That's <laughs> real good fish. Yeah, isn't that such a nice fish? Yeah. You just wouldn't expect that in this kind of water. Nah. That's a lovely fish, hey? Yeah. Alright, let's yeah. Maybe we just push through some of this stuff faster. Hit yeah. the main hit the current, the deep slots. And just hit the honey holes. Yeah, it must be cause just they're in summer water, even though we've just had rain and the rivers like come up a little. Yeah? Yeah, yeah true. True, true. I'm so gonna fall over on these logs, man. <laughs> Yeah, dude, this is so good to fish Because you have to be mega accurate. It's just different, isn't it? Just the more types of fishing you expose yourself to, the better you get at everything. Yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> he was in there. What is he doing in there? They're up more in the heady bits, aren't they? Yeah. God, glasses are too foggy. They'll be up for this, hey. I reckon they probably will. Judging by that. So much more comfortable now. Yeah, I'm still sweating. <laughs> Do you want to fish this or skip? Oh, uh, well, you should put your drive through just to see if they'll rise up there. Got him there. Oh, oh. That's a good fish. What a take. <laughs> Right up in the head, hey? Yeah, cool. It's a lovely little brown. So they like mostly this size? No, nah, these, these are, are big. Yeah. There's a lot of them that are like 20 centimeters. What a lovely fish. Was he just in the bubble line? He was smack bang at the head of it. <laughs> Can I get a quick photo, dude? Dude, your turn, man. Just sneak one in the same spot. Yeah, that's where you put it. Yeah. Come on, push on. We've got like kilometers. <laughs> Yeah, oh, dude, we've got like six hours of fishing. So we gotta, we gotta hustle. Man, he's so gonna eat. Should just throw the Pokemon in there. It's so hard when you're like fishing up for the fish that rose, you don't want to just dive straight in. <laughs> there comes some point when you're like, I just gotta chuck it up at him. Got him. Nice. <laughs> oh man, that was so nice. Have an ass eater. Another nice one, man. It's such a nice little fish. So cool. Let's pop him out. <laughs> the problem is, we're gonna be like all day. We're gonna be like, oh, you gotta throw a dry through that first. Yeah. And then they're just if they eat the dry, <laughs> you on the nymph under dry is gonna suffer. Yeah. Why don't you just chop the nymph off and then you can tie it on if you need it. Just let the tippet trail. trail, it won't bother them. And you think they'll eat this stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mucha. Fly. <laughs> <laughs> I told your dad I caught, where was I? I was somewhere fishing that. The flies I took from his fly box that Martin tied him. Oh, yeah. And they were really good, yeah. I was like, Dang, they're eating it. They're too quiet, but man, like... It's gonna hook the stick. Oh. <laughs> so you can kind of drag it through the middle. Yeah, yeah. Because the drift is so short, it's like, slap it down. Yeah. They'll hear it, eat it. If not, you can manip like animate it, because yeah. it sometimes gets them over the edge. People don't act like animating drives, but... If well, the, we don't do it in Australia. No, nah, you do it, but the in check. Europe. Yeah, in Europe, man, it's massive. It's like yeah. how you would dry fly fish a lot of the time for yeah, stockers. Like with a CDC cabinet, right? Yeah, yeah. You just animate it heaps. Yeah. And they're going to be up there. Sure, oh, yeah, there. If 
find with the Tannin River though, it's quite hard to read the depth sometimes. Yeah. Because you're like, that looks amazing, and you and fish you it, there. and you get there, you're like, that looks terrible. <laughs> Do you just chuck Tabernas on for the next bit? Do you know they're eating it? Maybe, yeah. Oh, spookage. Pretty. I would have thought I'd get away with that. Yeah. That was the tough one to do, right? Yeah. He was up tight to the edge. Cool. And then you go. Sure? Yeah. Yeah. Can't do much about it though, in a lot of that water. Because if you want to get any sort of drift, you have to throw your some form of leader over a section of water. So, and I also think when you fish a river normally, where you're leaving all these fish behind and not catching them, but just because the river's low today, we're actually seeing them. That's the oh, difference. Right. Yeah. Like when you're normally dry fly fishing up a river, yeah, you would Probably always be doing that. Yeah, you'd be walking past them and ruining it the whole time. Like two just chased each other there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what do you do? Yeah, you just don't, often you fish through it, you're like, huh, surprised there wasn't a fish there. Yeah. And little do you know, under the water, it's just there charging all over the place. <laughs> oh, I just saw one rise. He's right in the slot up there. Oh gosh, missed him. Yeah. I looked away and I looked back and it was gone. That was really bad. Got him then though. <laughs> Dude, good one. Oh, that, was good. <laughs> that is a really good one. Holy moly. Dude, holy, what is going on? That is insane. What? What? Oh. Dude, look at this fish. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Man, that is a beast. Yeah, oh. dude, what a fish. That is amazing. You got it? Not yet. What are you doing in this river? Oh, oh my gosh. Man, That's like. Is that the biggest fish you've got out of here? Uh, no, second biggest. So good, man. There you go. Come on. <laughs> what a tank for this river, dude. That's just not like that. How does it just like that surviving? Yeah, that drag. Mm -hmm. Hoonin past. <laughs> that water there, you can get a lot closer to, I think, than other stuff because, oh, because it's because it's, it's moving. So you can fish closer to that. Like it, that should have, you could pick that up now because it would have been eaten if it was going to get eaten. Yeah, right. Like. Oh. Oh. 
Nice, man. Another nice one. That's a really, <laughs> that's a really good fish. Done by the blackberries. Oh, so he spooked out of this run here. Oh, I didn't even see him. That's he went from there up. These blackberries are delicious. That's, yeah, it's crazy, man. Oh, so that good. Was a slow, oh. slow take. That was beautiful, dude. I was not ready for that. I was like, this one. That was wicked. So cool. Yeah, I was like caught in blackberries. I sort of <laughs> after that, and just out of the periphery, I saw the take. I was like, it's probably it doesn't. Fly. I better try. Yeah, isn't it like it? But it just disappears, hey. Yeah. Like the soft water eats, they just suck it down, and yeah. it's like it's gone. Very cool. Bro. It's so different, like, dry fly fishing in small stream, right? Oh, yeah, totally. Well, like, compared to a big river where you've got the room to, like, surf and stuff. Well, yeah, you need to, like, pick your drift. Yeah. You've got to, like, really look for that one foot drift. You're like, it's going from there to there. Right, yeah. And be super accurate. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Surely, right? yeah. <laughs> Come on. Maybe, like, a foot further up. I mean, yeah. Damn, yeah, it's interesting, right? Yeah, they're in some and not other spots. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Man, nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it landed and we're both like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that looks right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice, man. Oh, so cool. That man. was such a good eat. Yeah. Yeah, we both thought, yeah, mm, that could catch That's, a fish. That looks right. Oh, I see the rise? Yeah. Come the on, rise dude. Probably a rise. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your evil laugh when he eats it. <laughs> Why can't I have one rise for me? <laughs> it's been ages since one rose in front of me. Such a good take. Awesome take. Yeah. You keep going up to the. Oh, you gotta dry. You gotta dry the fly. That happened in fly fish live on the tiner a few times. Yeah. Where I flicked it up and the fish ate the dry, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Oh, what a take that was. Oh, a soft one? Yeah. He was like, wow. that's a really good one, isn't it? Yeah. 
Such a good fish. Glad you had to dry your dry. <laughs> Wow, how nice. Good, good chain, yeah, yeah, he was like right at the top of it, yeah. How good was that? Like two foot from there. Did he rise as well? No, he was just blind. It's weird how that just happens. There's, yeah. we're going through dead patches and then there's a whole bunch in one area. Yeah. Should be like mullet view. The camera. <laughs> the camera and the cool. Man, he's in that bubble line. Oh, bad car. <laughs> so good. Come here, buddy. <laughs> I know, isn't that a brave spot? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, that's a good one. Oh! Got him! Oh! 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 <laughs> what an eat! Man, big one too, like... Yeah, amazing. First one that's come off. You're really making the most of the tail there. <laughs> Isn't it hard? Because you want the long leader to get the drag free drift in the tail outs but you need the accuracy in other spots. Yeah. So you have to like compromise in both areas. It's horrible. Yeah, it's really annoying. Like I reckon my tip is size is the right Oh, see that rise? Yeah, he's up, you can't almost want to be, oh, no, different fish, dude. Should I grab that one next? Ah, uh, they're at the same distance up the pool. Oh! <laughs> I reckon the other one's still good, man. You got him out quick, I'll give you that much. Is it? Whoa. Right Hit him pretty hard. You had the full weight of him <laughs> cannoning out of the water. He was just in that seam up there. Look how silt like amazing the colours on that one are. Alright, let's skedaddle. Alright, we made it back to the car after I walk back. Really good afternoon session. We didn't know what we were going to expect and you saw pretty early on we worked out that you didn't really need an inf under dry, you could just dry fly fish. So Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and uh, check the information in the bottom of the video. I've got links to the gear that I was using here if you want to check that out there. Use my discount code for 10% off as well. You'll see it down there. And I'll see you next week. Cheers, guys.